going on folks welcome to the channel uh, what we're doing here is um, I'm doing a review of the core essentials gun belt this one happens to be in multicam their tactical multicam color uh, that also uh, with the x6 buckle uh, I reached out to um, core and they went ahead and uh, sent me them uh, they also sent up this nifty hanger. By the way, first trying to figure out how to get this hanger to work. This right here goes in here like this. When you decide you want to hang your belt. Ratchet like that. Hit this up. Slide it off. Some people are kind of having trouble on figuring that out. It took me a while to figure it out, but I got it. Appreciate Core for uh, getting this out to me. Uh, what makes them unique is they have this power core here. This is what gives them their, their stiffness and their strength. Is uh, The center of this belt has this piece of some type of, um, I, I don't know, some type of real stiff plastic. They call it the power core. And what gives their, their belts their strength. Uh, the one and a half inch belts are rated to handle up to eight pounds. So unless you've got some kind of M16 hanging off your hip, I don't think you have to worry about it. First off, what we're going to go ahead and do is size it. They have uh, measurements along the belt length itself. You get your pant size and you add four inches. If you were inside the, inside the waistband, you want to add six inches. So say uh okay uh, on a bad day i'm a 38 so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is uh since i wear inside the waistband i'm gonna go ahead and go 44 which is right about here get yourself some sharp scissors and make sure you want to cut the right end you don't want to cut the opposite end cut the end that has the numbers on here so right here at 44 Cut it nice and clean. Once again, you can see the inside there. Uh, what you also want to do, uh, what you can do, I should have been prepared, is the end that you cut for the belt. Now, so it doesn't get no, no frayed ends on it. Just quickly just heat it up. That way you don't have to worry about it fraying on you. Okay, this piece you can keep as a as a memoir. Show your friends. Tell your friends about it. And what we want to do with the cut end of the belt is put it graphic side down. And take this here buckle is the X6 as mentioned. Um, it has a section here that you flip up and it has teeth. These things are the ones that bite into the belt. And it also has these two set screws to enhance the stability and retention of the belt once you put it in. So what you want to go ahead and do is flip this open, teeth side up. You want to back these screws out just enough that you can get the belt in there. And you want to insert the belt until it bottoms out. It's going to stop over here. Once it does that, it's all the way in. Go ahead and flick this down. It's going to be kind of tough. And you'll hear a click. That's all the way down. Then what you want to go ahead and do is take the supplied Allen key and tighten them up, but not over tightening them. You don't want to over tighten them. You just want to tighten them up until they're snug. And that will keep uh, the belt from coming loose from the buckle. Okay, they're snug. Get one little quarter turn. Okay, she's in there. Okay, what makes these belts unique is the ratcheting system, which they have here. 40 different measurements here, each one of a quarter inch so that your belt is always the right size. 
had too much to eat, no problem. Put this in there, and what you'll see is a lot of adjustments. That you just push it to tighten it and to loosen it. You have this right here. What you want to do is flick that up. If you're wearing it, you pull it out to the out position. And while you do that, you just give the belt a little tug and it comes right out. What the finished product looks like on your pants, since is right here. Ideally, once you have your once you have your um, belt already cut, ideally you want to have three to four inches sticking past your first belt buckle. I mean, I'm sorry, your first uh, your first belt loop. And uh, they do include one of these to hold the excess tail of your belt. I like that one so much I went out and bought me one. Uh, this is the black tactical version, by the way, uh, with the X7 X7 buckle. But uh, both of them are the same belts. Uh, you can't go wrong. Like I said, um, inch and a half. These things will support eight pounds, and that is a lot of weight, folks. Uh, they also have some garrison belts, which I believe are one and three quarters inch wide, that support up to uh, ten pounds. And I believe these belts are rated uh, for, if I'm not mistaken, 300 pounds. Uh, I think is a weight rating on these. Uh, you're not, you're not going to bust it loose. You're not going to bust it loose. You'd have to be uh, some behemoth to bust it loose. Once that's in there, that thing ain't coming out. Get white knuckle. Okay. Like I said, once it's on, simply got like that to undo it. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and uh, put them below. And uh, have a nice day, and God bless you. Thank you.